Often it gets talked about that Lee's finest moment in battle was when he ironed out several of Viv Graham's doormen in 1990. The incident I'm about to tell you was far more devastating. Around six weeks before Lee died, he went on his jollies with Neil Booth and their girlfriends. Lee had borrowed 300 quid off a few close friends on the Never Never, and the group had travelled to Newcastle, the Lake District and Blackpool. When in Blackpool, him and Boothie decided to leave the girls in the B&B and go clubbing on Blackpool Seafront. The club they were queuing in was a popular night spot called Cloud. As Duffy and Boothie were in the queue, a rowdy clubber decided to get his c*** out. Ow, ow, put your knob away, you daft lad, Duffy shouts. The mouthy clubber replies, shut up, you big dopey c***. He never had any idea what or who he was talking to, and yes, I'm sure you can guess what happened next. Before the Duff could lay a punch, all around you could hear from every man in that queue a noise which sounded like bird calls. Coo, 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 echoed out for a while. Boothie all of a sudden became aware that Lee wasn't only about to go to war with this one man, the noises were football hooligans warning all their comrades that it was about to kick off. Before Boothie could warn the duffer, it was too late. Lee exploded into a whirlwind of violence, punching anyone within arm's distance of him. I'm told people who Lee walloped went into double figures, and he was like a pig in He was just having the time of his life, punching anyone that moved. Although Lee walked away without a mark on him, his most trusted lieutenant, Boothie, received a hammer over his head, fractured skull with blood everywhere and a nasty scar he still bears today. Lee and Boothie also had another scrap in a pizza shop that night and soon scarpered before the pair were arrested because Lee left a carnage of bodies behind. Lee and Boothie went back to the waiting girls who did their best to clean up Neil's war wounds. Neil by this point was badly concussed, but it didn't matter to the duff because he was in a party mode, and he needed his boy Wonder Robin, a.k.a. Boothie, by his side, because whilst standing in that queue before extreme violence broke out in a manner which only Lee Paul Duffy was capable of, he'd overheard someone saying that nearby there was an all-night rave going on. With no time to waste, Dr Duffy bandaged up his best friend's head using a pair of socks, and the Duffer and Boothster were ready to party once again. All they had to do was tell the girls they were nipping out for some fags and beers and that they'd be back shortly. Once at the rave, Lee pulled out a bag full of ecstasy which Neil had no idea about. Where the f*** did you get that from, Lee? asked Neil. Lee's response was, I picked them up off the floor, one of them lads dropped them when I sparked him outside that club. That was what I mean about Duffy being a true one-off. Who in their right mind would be that switched on? where he's fighting with a dozen or so men, but has time to swag a bag of ease off the floor, but then start punching again. I would like to think that was the true South Bank in him, of never missing an opportunity. That, to me, just sums up the fella. He was just unbelievable. But that story happened exactly how I've just told you. <laughs>